my god it's been a while since i shot one of these videos i hope tumhara guzara chal raha hoga bina meri dating tips ke isse pehle jitne bhi maine tips di thi na these were like all um how to get over people and it's okay and you should not be doing this and you should not be doing that but in today's video fuck all of that fuck the victim mentality dude we're not going to be the victims anymore okay in today's video i'm going to teach you how to be the badass woman that you actually should be i really hope that you guys do take these points into consideration because they actually help a lot with your personal growth um you know in building a personality in a lot of self confidence and a lot of other things okay so yeah without well, wasting any more time let's get into the video so today's video is going to be mostly about online dating because uh jaise halat chal rahe hain i'm pretty sure aage ke 6 mahine also you like you're going to be online dating only nobody's going to be meeting and like you know the regular dating situation is not going to get back to normal anytime soon so we baithe baithe kya kare karna hai kuch kaam to chalo shuru kare bumble hinge tinder leke prabhu ka naam That's a bad one. I'm sorry. That was a bad. First point: Do not show desperation for a relationship or for shadi. Especially when you're on an online dating app, people are not there to actually get married. Like tons of other apps for like getting married and all of that. You go to those apps if you're like really looking to get married. I mean, I would laugh at a guy who would say that, "Are you looking to get married?" <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Calm down. <laughs> I mean, no offense to anyone. I do understand that you do have a lot of pressure from your family, and you have to get married, and all of that. It's very difficult being a woman in India. You don't really have the freedom, and you don't really have the time to actually talk to a lot of guys and to actually like meet a lot of guys. I totally get that, but. But right now is actually the time when you can do all of this because it's quarantine. Everybody's locked down. Right now is the time. but you can make use of the slow life and get on dating apps talk to guys see what's happening in the world just be open to having general conversations without having this thought in your head ki is ladke ke sath mujhe shaadi karni hai is ladke ke sath mujhe relationship normal baatein karo yaar if i am looking for a relationship when you throw that question at me like that you putting me in a spot like i hardly even know you i don't even know what you do i don't know your background and you cannot really put me in a spot that okay ha huh, i'm looking for a relationship like i want to keep that information to myself if i like you if i don't like you after like maybe a few days of conversation and everything i will kind of think and understand ki ke isko date karna chahiye ya nahi karna chahiye but i'm not ready to spill that secret on the first day itself so do not go all guns blazing at a guy and be like oh tumhe shaadi karni hai or tumhe relationship chahiye that's a really bad thing to do you just being too desperate tumhe kya pata ki tumhe khud ko wo ladka pasand aayega jisko tumne poocha ki ha tumhe shaadi karni hai tumhe relationship chahiye now this brings me to the next topic which is to prioritize yourself to love yourself most of us girls actually end up jumping from one relationship to relationship or they either in fact just looking for a relationship because they don't know how to love themselves because you know it's so easy to look for happiness in other people because you know i mean it takes effort to work on yourself and anything that requires effort people just tend to skip on it when you don't have goals in your life when you don't have things that keep you busy when you don't have things that make you happy even when no one is watching that is when you start looking to other people for your happy self love does not happen overnight okay like you start reading books start developing habits like understand what kind of music you like like i understood that i love love punjabi music and hip hop and rap music i love reading memes if that even counts um it just makes me happy <laughs> you know i i have become this sarcastic human being now and it's just amazing how i am what i'm trying to basically tell you is that working on yourself is very important it's priority wo tumhe love life mein nahi tumhare career mein bhi bahut aage leke jayega and trust me when you start loving yourself enough nothing is good enough for you because then you're like are yaar i don't want to compromise on this are yaar no 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 you become too picky because you're so sure of yourself now that you know that i will not compromise on this thing which earlier you did not earlier you would have just given into it because you were that person that was you know trying to latch on to another human being but right now you are so happy with yourself that you you can't really let go of small things in life as well at this point do not be available 24/7 i mean don't you have work to do don't you have like exams to prep for or don't you have like your own career goals or don't you have like things to work on yourself i mean wo ladke ne ek hi babe likh diya tum jump karke message karoge usko but mummy ne pani ka glass manga to tum hiloge nahi that's because your priorities are not set pani ka glass to main bhi nahi lati waise i'm trying to say is that you're not supposed to completely ignore people you're supposed to just prioritize your work and let 
things happen organically. जब तुम्हारे पास time होगा तो message करो बीच में मन कर रहा तो message करो but तुम specially time निकाल निकाल के तुम काम छोड़ छोड़ के कर रहे हो that is wrong. Point number फोर is to stop expecting things. हमारे ex boyfriend ने काफ़ी कुछ fairy tale type चीज़ें की होंगी तुम्हारे लिए that does not automatically mean that the other person is also गोना do those things for you. When you stop expecting things out of people, तुम्हारी life automatically हंड्रेड times simple हो जाती है Trust me. I mean, ah. Oh. Have these expectations going around in your head कि अच्छा मैंने कल इससे बात की थी that means आज भी यही time पर वो मुझे phone करेगा आज भी मुझे message करेगा या फिर you know he should have messaged me because we spoke last night ये भी एक आधे conversation के बाद ऐसा person didn't think that यहाँ पर कुछ compatibility है तो he didn't message you you know I mean you are also free to do the same so stop expecting stop expecting phone calls stop expecting messages stop expecting good morning messages stop expecting good night messages stop expecting anything matlab jitna tum usko bolo are yaar par tumne ye nahi kiya tumne wo nahi kiya tum usko utna hi stress mein dal rahe ho ki bhai ye banda kitna expect karta hai mere se you know so first of all you don't expect number 2 you don't tell them that you're expecting that's the worst coming to fifth and final tip which is actually one of the most important tips it's not very easy to do Uh, at the same time, it might sound a little stupid and tricky. The tip is to take a step back. Helps in filtering out all of the wrong guys in your life because then you get to see their reaction. Take your time to reply, or maybe if he's messaged in the morning, you can reply in the evening or something, and just just see how it goes. If he's being too creepy about it, if he's messaging you constantly, where are you? Where are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? That is when you realize if a person is not respecting your space. You cannot be with that person. The thin line between missing a person and being possessive. Uh, as soon as you feel that this guy is being too clingy because I did not message him or reply to him, that is when it's your cue to actually take a step back. Honestly, I don't even intentionally ever take step backs. I'm always usually busy uh, because I prioritize my work that much. So uh, you know, my step backs are not intended. But I realize that I tend to do that. Like I tend to forget uh, to reply to messages or even like follow up on messages or stuff. So um, you know, automatically I kind of figure out who's a creep because there are people who will stalk you on all of the social media platforms. They will message you and they will show you that we are here. Please, please see us. Please message us or whatever. That is when you're like, oops. This is how you actually cancel all the freaks out, you know, because they show their freaky nature when you don't give them how, okay? And you don't want that in your life, trust me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you take all of the points that I've shared. Always remember in the back of your head that not every conversation has to end in a relationship or in a shadi. People also end up becoming really good friends. So be ready for that. Just be open to having conversations. Don't have an agenda in your head because then you'll be very nervous and you you will not be yourself. So that is it for today's video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to my channel before you leave. And that's it for now. I will see you next time. Bye.